Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. <laughs> this is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 13th through to the 19th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have the Seven of Wands upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Fool upright. Next, we have the Two of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Eight of Pentacles upright, and lastly, we have Major Arcana Temperance. All of your cards are in the upright position. Aries, your overall energy is the Seven of Wands in the upright position. Well, this generally pops up when we're on guard. What are you on guard about, Aries? Um, there could be several things uh, for this energy to be popping up. One could be um, perhaps you've decided to do something, maybe you went ahead, uh, made some plans, or you said something, and you're kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're not sure how it's going to be received by others, so you're just a little bit on guard for others of you. This could be representative of uh, just sort of being a little bit skeptical of something, sort of holding one back, oneself back from something. Could be guarding our privacy, could be uh, guarding our um, our heart, maybe for some of you. Perhaps you uh, somebody new has come into your life and perhaps you're not sure if you want to let them in. You're feeling a little bit guarded at the moment. Others of you, you could be in protective mode of someone else. Perhaps you're feeling uh, that somebody around you is not getting a fair shake in some way. And you could be, you know, uh, coming out or coming across as someone uh, protective of, or overly protective of someone. Right at the beginning of the week, we have Major Arcana the Fool in the upright position. This is all about ready to take a chance again. This could be... Uh, taking a chance on a new romance for some of you. This could be, um, but if that's the case, it seems like you're a little bit guarded. But who knows? I mean, you'll have to let, let us know in the comment section below if this makes sense to you, Aries. But the Fool is all about being ready to jump in. I mean, Aries is, is the first sign of the Zodiac, usually wants to, you know, be the first one to go on adventures, to try new things and so forth. So it could be that this week you're feeling a little bit adventurous. You could be wanting to try a new type of job, maybe for some of you. It could be a new career. Uh, maybe you want to try doing some kind of side hustle and, you know, it's something you've never done before. For others of you, perhaps you want to travel somewhere or try a new hobby or something like that. That's it, The Fool's a little bit of risky energy only because of the fact that it's the unknown factor, right? So we're just not sure if this is something we're going to be um, liking. So maybe for some of you with the Seven of Wands here, this is like you're, you're ready to jump in and to try something, but maybe you're a little bit skeptical at the same time. The next card up is the Two of Wands in the upright position. Well, this is all about having that one foot in the past, one foot in the future, but more focused in on the future. Some of you could be making plans or perhaps you're planning. You could be planning to move somewhere, uh, maybe start anew in a new town, in a new country or what have you. Others of you could be just looking at starting over after a time of dismantling everything. It's like, okay, just very, very focused on the horizons ahead, but still holding on to the, to the present moment, but yet very, very future focused. So it looks like you're planning on putting something into action, but some of you could be a little bit skeptical of it just because of the overall energy being that seven of wands. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright position. This is the Worker Bee energy. This is you, nose to the grindstone, just focusing in on what it is you need to do to go from point A to point B. Looks like um, some of you could be definitely planning something. You're definitely uh, planning an escape, maybe some of you, an escape route. Could be planning on, like I said, moving somewhere or planning on starting a new career or a new relationship or something like that. You're getting to work. You're putting the wheels in motion for that, it looks like. And the last card you have is Sagittarius energy, temperance in the upright position. Well, temperance is all, it's a really good energy in terms of 
wherever it is you're going, especially if you're starting a new career, or a new job or something, or even moving to a new town. Temperance lets you know that where you are going, there will be a lot of cooperation around you. So really good news for those of you who are starting some kind of new job this week, because it could be where you're, you know, you will be working in the near future. It's a good uh, combination of people that will work well alongside of you. For others of you, perhaps it's where you're going. Maybe if you're planning a trip somewhere or planning to move somewhere, this is the right spot for you at the right place at the right time because you will be encountering people who are like-minded and, um, you know, be very accepting of you. Temperance, keep in mind, is also a very uh, healing energy too. So it could be some of you are healing from past wounds and healing from situations that you're now walking away from. Seems like you're a little bit skeptical this week just because you're making moves. Maybe some of you are just not sure how family members or friends or co-workers are going to take the news of what you're planning on doing. So you could be a little bit guarded with that. But by the same token, it looks like nothing's going to stop you. You're moving ahead towards very, very focused moving ahead towards your goals and your plans. It looks like an interesting week here for you, Aries. Like I said, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know what's going on. But that's what I have for you. I hope you have a terrific week. Thank you so much for joining me. And I uh, hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.